what up sabies welcome back to my channel guys thank you for tuning in so today i want us to talk about risk tolerance <laughs> um i want the r to be out risk tolerance at the end of this video can you please tell me what type of risk tolerance investor you are um i will name all the four levels of risk tolerance and then you will tell me in the comment section what type of risk investor you are all right so without further ado let's just get on with the video the first one is aggressive risk tolerance investor so these people are investors that really understand the stock market they have a deep understanding of the stock market and they know the tricks and how to tackle the stock market they actually go for small cap um, companies or mid cap companies because they do believe that they have a growth a potential of growing and after doing that research of course and they go for such companies because they put a lot of risk into these companies knowing that they'll have maximum returns but you have to know that this company is actually going to grow because such companies have so much risk because they have a probability of being bankrupt right so you have to know your stuff before you can invest in such company and then these people they can invest for a whole lot of time they take their time when they invest so that their in stocks can excel and really do great in the stock market then they will withdraw or maybe reinvest their investment i don't think i'm an aggressive investor i will tell you which uh, an investor i am and then the second one we have um, a moderate risk tolerance investor these investors they do accept risk okay but not huge amount of risk so their approach is um they they come up with a really balanced approach of life like a 50 50 structure you get it so i am a moderate risk tolerance investor i do accept some kind of risk but not a lot so usually these people they go for large companies uh, large market cap um, they usually go for mutual funds they go for bonds that are actually riskless and yeah some etfs in there some commodities something that's going to diversify the portfolio and just just actually balance it you get it so those are people that are moderate risk tolerance investors they actually invest around five to ten years and then they'll make a decision of reinvesting or eating their money okay so we also have a one that is called a conservative risk tolerance investor these investors they don't tolerate any kind of risk okay they do tolerate a little a tiny tiny bit of um risk they hate stocks that are volatile they want a zero volatility in their portfolio that's what they do so these people are people that actually don't understand the stock market they're still new to the stock market they're still trying to understand how it works and um, there are also people who are actually old who don't have that much time horizon so they just want to enjoy their money and not actually invest it okay so those people are called the conservative risk tolerance investors they don't want any kind of volatility in their portfolio years and they can invest from i don't know probably from two um to five years they just don't want to put their money uh, for a longer period so those people are called conservative risk tolerance investors and the fourth one which is the very last one is the one that's called um the short-term investors these people i want to warn you please stay away from the stock market because um actually stocks cannot excel in a short period they're highly volatile in a short period so if you're going to say i am going to invest um into stocks for just a year they're not going to just they're all going to give you returns but it's not going to be enough returns that you are really looking into so if you want to invest for one year less than one year then i suggest that you go for cash equivalents um certificate of deposit what do we call this um money market instruments i'm um, actually did a video about that i'll just put it right here if you want to know more about the money market instruments this is the video for you please tell me in the comment section what type of risk tolerance investor are you are you an aggressive risk tolerance investor or a moderate one or a conservative one or a short term um investor please let me know and i will highly appreciate it so that's all that i wanted to talk about with you guys i hope this video was really helpful that's what i'm always aiming at and i will see you on my next video